Way back in 1963, a man of the Nevza or province of Turkey knocked down a wall in his home and stumbled across something profound. This man had made the discovery of the underground hidden city of Derinku. Behind the wall he knocked down he found a small secret room. Beyond the secret room was a small ramp leading down to a tunnel. As he led himself down the tunnel he discovered a labyrinth of winding paths, stairs and caverns. This is said to be one of the most amazing discoveries in Turkey's history. It is said by archaeologists that this underground city was used in times of natural disasters and for finding deep water wells for farming. Derinka is not the oldest nor largest underground ancient city but it comes in at the deepest with a staggering 18 levels recorded. The was once lively with markets, tombs, livestock and even a school intertwining over numerous levels. The people of Derinka are said to be the masters of the Iron Age. As many as six of these underground cities have been excavated in the Cappadocia area. Who first built the underground structures and when remains something of a mystery. Archaeologists suspect the Phrygians, Persians or 15th century BC Anatolian Hittites may be responsible, but since the caves are carved from natural rock, it is difficult to trace their construction to a specific date. The first written evidence of the mysterious cities is not found until the 5th century BC in the Greek writer Xenophon's Anabasis, which states that the region's houses consisted of underground structures with an aperture like the mouth of a well by which to enter, but they were broad and spacious below. While researchers still know very little about Nevzaer's newest subterranean city, they have begun to speculate on how it was used. Ozkan Sakr a professor in the Geophysics Engineering Department at Sinakalansakismar University near Gallipoli, is one of the experts involved in excavating the new find. He told the Hurriet Daily News that the complex might have functioned as a space for storing and transporting food and produce. We believe that people who were engaged in agriculture were using the tunnels to carry agricultural products to the city, he said. We also estimate that one of the tunnels passes under Nevzaer and reaches a faraway water source. A consistent underground climate of around 55 degrees Fahrenheit may have made the cave city an appealing location for preserving food. Even today, Turks in Cappadocia often use ancient underground buildings as storage for fruit and vegetables.